Gamers, the new account is going really well. We've got a ton of wishes saved up. Uh, this is pretty crazy. We're going to be able to get uh, probably Jing Liu. I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet, but things are looking awesome. Uh, I got a couple normal bill uh, pulls. I'm going to pull these right now, see if we get anything juicy on video. Uh, but I wanted to talk about my biggest regrets on my main account, and I want to talk about, you're kidding me? I think I just got E6. Cracked. Actually cracked with the new event. I think I have E6 serval. Wowza. Uh, well, one of the things... And I just got a sample back to back. This account is cracked, bro. This account is crazy. Because I focused on a, on a smaller group of units, it has been so easy. I've got supports. I've got tanks. I've got healing. I've got a couple damage dealers. And it has been so comfortable. And my biggest regret is wasting resin, wasting energy on this unit on my other account. Let me explain. All right, so at TL40, I started working on leveling and descending some of these different units, uh, getting some light cones. That one's not leveled up, but a lot of these are, are level 60, uh, and I've been kind of building them up and getting them to a good spot. Also, traces. Uh, trying to get the important traces for a lot of these units and essentially max it out. There's some others that I could get. There's some easy upgrades that I can go for. But I worked on getting these units essentially maxed out for right now. What I could do uh, with the world boss materials that I have, etc, etc. If you just want to level up and get your characters maxed out for this world tier, I'm already halfway to the next one. And if you want to pre-farm so that you're ready for the next world tier. I'm going to be at like 48, 49. I'm essentially going to max out, uh, hit TL50 by the time I pre-farm and get everyone ready for the next world tier. But what I did on my other account is I was grinding relics until like 47, 48. My other account, I had E2 Zila with a light cone and she was cracked and she one bang everything. But my healer would die. My support units would die. If I brought in Ting Yu, dead. If I brought in Pela, dead. It didn't matter who I brought. The only one who could survive was her and probably the Fire MC on my other account. But because I focused on, on doing all the, the levels and the light cones and the traces, not on him, but on, on everyone else, they're all decently tanky. This Fu Xuan, she's not going down. She's got a bunch of defense. This Lynx, oh my, she's cracked. I don't even have leveled up stuff, but some of these pieces are enough to keep her alive and thriving, and it makes the content way easier. It's 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 so much easier because my supports and my tanks and stuff aren't on life support 24-7, that even though I don't have crazy uh, relics, you get enough free-to-play that you can probably survive. But we got through... You know, all the Forgotten Hall, we pushed all the way through here, and uh, other than a few stars missed, this was easy. And into this one, we pushed through here, and I could do the first few floors easy, no problem, no questions asked. And this, I think that I could clear the first room or two, but for the most part, I'm not going to really get anything from this, because I don't know if I can do it in enough cycles. I might, I might get like one or two stars, and maybe one star from the next one. We will see. I might as well try it because it's going to reset in nine hours. But even the, the simulated universe, I remember the first time playing through and doing the simulated universe, and it was tough. Like, it was, it was super tough. I tried a few of these multiple times, and because I failed on some of these over and over and over again, my ability tree was really fur, like farther progressed than this. And when I finally beat, like, floor six... I was far in. On this account, floor five Kafka, easy. First try, no problem, no stress. Uh, world six Kakolia, a little bit tougher, but after resetting a couple times and changing my strategy, we beat this essentially first try. The deer, which was like a higher level than me, I think it's like level 66, killed it, crushed it, easy. I put uh, ice on it, remembrance, oh, it's simple. And then I went back and I even did some of the higher levels and, uh, and I did the, I don't, oh, I did do this one. I did all the higher levels that are available right now. First try, no problem. 
My account is so much comfier now that I've got some tanks built out, I've got some healers that are going to keep me alive, and some supports that aren't level 40 and 50 and, and, and really weak. They're leveled up, they've got some relics equipped, they're not even leveled relics, but I feel like this is the game how it's supposed to be played. Instead, I had one crazy DPS and it did not matter. My biggest regret is is focusing in on a DPS unit because this is a turn-based game and you can't avoid damage. You really can't. There's lots of AoE, there's lots of stuff going on, and you can't mitigate it. Where in Genshin, you could max out a D-Luke and be slamming and jamming and dodge around and, and, and mitigate tons of damage. I was beating Spiral Abyss with level 30 and 40 uh, support units because they didn't have to be on the field for more than a couple seconds to help out my D-Luke, right? Realistically, I could swap to Venti and just suck everything up and then swap again, and he would never, ever take damage. But in this game, it's different. And so if I could go back and do it all again, I would have made sure all of my key units were maxed out. But another, another big thing happened. Some other units that I'd like to try out, I'd like to build out, but I just can't. I can't waste resources on any of these units, and, and even leveling them up to like 20... This is a, a bit of a waste. I was taking some of my units up to, to 50 because I wanted the free wishes. I'm trying to get Bronya. And it was such a waste of resources. I did it on like everybody. And on this one, I still went for the 20. I still got, you know, some resources here. I got the free wishes from a few of them, but I didn't go ham. And on these ones, I haven't even done it yet. I, I probably will. It's not too expensive, but I really blew through a lot of resources. The wishes are a cruel mistress. No, I'm not talking about getting Dan Hung. I'm happy with that. I like my Dan Hung. The issue is every time you pull someone new and cool, you think to yourself, this could be useful. Because of the whole element situation, there is a lot of value in having elemental coverage. And my mistake was every time I got a new five-star unit, I tried to build them. And... I uh, I recognize now that Himiko, she was good, she was cool, my account would be fine without her. <laughs> Welt, very good unit, very cool. But now that I think about it, he was a lot of resources, and while I do think he's good and I think he helped my account, I could have got away without him. Um, Clara, very good, very cool, but... Did I need her? She might have helped with some content, but I'm using her less and less now as I continue playing the game. I built a Yangxing, I build her, and you know, that's a ton of resources. It's a ton of ascensions. I'm trying to get relics and all of them. They're all half ass. And on my new account, I'm looking at it and I'm starting to recognize that even on this account, I have everything I need. I've got two healers that are pretty much going to be maxed out and taken to the moon i've got two different tanks and that's perfect i could swap them around as need be and then i've got two supports and i've got a dps i got some you know some aoe and i'll probably go for one more dps like jing Liu. and after that after that i i don't know what i'll do next because i i feel like i'm gonna beat the game with just this elemental coverage that i've got I think maybe Blade would be a nice treat uh, as another DPS. But for the most part, just with these two tanks and these two healers, I feel like I have an unending amount of options. And Ting Yun is so busted and can go in so many teams that, like, I literally have all the tools I need, for the most part, to beat everything in the game already. And it, it feels nice. I don't feel like I need to pull for options because I've tested all those options on my other account. I've got the Himikos, I've got the Yang Chings. They're cool, they're good, but um, I'm not going to panic and, and, and try to max them out and level them as soon as I get them on this account because I they're not going to change my life. They're just not. So, yeah. My other account is good. I've got a lot of elemental coverage and a lot of different options, but everyone is half-built. Everyone is half-assed. And if I could go back on my main account, I would have been a lot smarter with it. I got I got baited into the hype of characters. Um, I pull them 
Chat's excited. I'm excited. I start building them. I want to test them. I want to use them. And much like my free-to-play god, or not even free-to-play god, my main MTash account in Genshin, because I wanted to test everything, and I wanted to make videos on everyone, and I wanted to, to, to have all these different tools, I made the same mistake as Genshin. And I spread myself way too thin. Even though I knew not to do that, I fell into the hype. And it ruined my account for now. It's easy to fix. I just need to get some relics, some traces. Like, I can fix it, and it's going to be really strong long-term overall. But for right now, I feel like the amount of energy spent has really limited my ability to beat Memory of Chaos. Um, I, I I die and I lose stars because I just can't heal enough. My, my heals are like 300, 400, 500. It's terrible. I could heal for over 1,000. But I can't because of traces, and I can't because of 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 lack of um, levels and light cones for my healers, and just like things that could have been avoided so long ago. So, anyways, that's it. Have a good one. Bye bye.